is to partake of the very essence of the world. It is a matter of paramount importance, you said, for people cannot face the arduous journey ahead on an empty stomach. At once a humble affair and a profound one. A humble meal of maize and spring water is also profound in that. By ensuring one's survival, it paves the way for millennia of human history and culture to come. My dear friend, Liu has changed so much while you have slept. Looking at the prosperity and beauty around us today, does it make you happy? Guoba, this is kind of a huge deal. Why didn't you say anything? Uh, he... he is not who he once was. Even the power of speech evades him now. There is no way he could have told you. Oh. Well, well, but... but... Mm. Xiangling. Do not be saddened, Xiangling. There are two sides to everything. Guo Ba may have lost many of his formal faculties, but he is now as carefree as can be, without a single worry in the whole world. In this world we inhabit, who can truly be said to live a life free of all woes? Those with a mind and with the knowledge will certainly be troubled by all manner of things. But he has gone further than us in his journey. He had both wisdom and courage. Everything he took upon himself, he was also ready to part with. His carefree demeanor today is a testament to the fact that he is at rest. So since you are his friend, take good care of him. Go out to walk and play. Allow him to eat, drink, and be merry. I will! You can count on me! Xiangling, you have an adeptal affinity. Guoba follows you around because he has respect for you. The moment he awoke, he was met with a familiar flavor in the chili mince cornbread buns he ate. After all that time, he still recognized the dish he had invented, and he approved of you as the one who had cooked it. That's right. The taste of one's home cuisine always brings back memories of home. Though he remembered nothing, eating the food you had cooked gave him a feeling of familiarity. That is why he stuck by you. You may be the first person in history to give the stove god the experience of being a satisfied customer. That makes you quite a remarkable chef. If that's true, I couldn't be happier. Because putting a smile on customers' faces is what we chefs are called to do. Well then, it's getting late and I still have things to do. Time for me to say goodbye. Traveler, Paimon, Xiangling, thank you all very much. I look forward to spending more time together in the future. I guess my dad's probably heard the good news already, but I should still go catch up with him. Master, it's been a while since you came by. Why don't you join me? He thinks about you all the time, you know. He's always telling me to invite you over. Oh, goodness me. Then, far be it from me to refuse. Off we go, then. Let's saunter over gently and see how all the city folk are getting along.
Oh, it's you. Hello there, old friend. Oh, bless my soul. Are you out for a stroll as well? Given the season, it felt fitting to take a leisurely walk while the meal is being prepared. Quite right. And it also gave us the chance to run into you. Guoba may not recognize you, but as ever, he seems quite delighted to see you. So, Guoba doesn't remember anything, but can still feel when something's familiar? Friendship will always withstand the ravages of time. Traveler, what do you think of the name of this festival? Moon Chase. The moon is a carrier of countless emotions. So many things only seem to surface as we gaze up beneath its poignant glow. Wherever the moonlight shines, the heart is wont to follow. Fond memories of those no longer with us. Debts of gratitude to old friends. The meaning of ages past and gone. All wrapped up in the city that has existed for so many moons to date. All these things and more. They are why people chase the moon. <laughs> in old age, the sight of many things puts one in a wistful mood. But children are always a beautiful sight to see. Such exuberant life force. I it seems to well up from deep within the land itself. A land that has been in existence for so many millennia. And yet, one that still dazzles today. Traveler, this Moon Chase Festival has been all the more entertaining with you here to witness it. Now, let's have Xiang Ling brew us a nice pot of tea. We shall drink and chat at our leisure. <laughs> 